First question, in terms of Western powers and, and leaders in the Gulf, they seem to be divided when it comes to uh, Khalifa Haftar's advance or offensive on Tripoli. President Trump talks with him last week, uh, President al-Sisi in Cairo. D does that come as a surprise? I'm not really surprised because there was a lot of contacts even before. And even before the election of Donald Trump, there was some um, voice to Khalifa Haftar to talk to him, to understand what is he is doing, who is he. So uh, I'm, I'm not really surprised. But the fact is that the international community is really very divided about the Libyan file. From one side, uh, you have uh, um, the Emirates uh, um, edge Egypt, uh, Russia, and France uh, supporting uh, the 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 Libyan National Army and uh, his commander Khalifa Haftar. And from the other side, uh, you have uh, the government of national accord recognized by the international community, but. Uh, really supported by Great Britain, Italy, Qatar and Turkey. I mean, let, let's stay with that internationally recognised government, because ultimately Fayez al-Sarraj came out uh, this week and said, you know, where are my allies in, in all of this? You know, the government is already considered to be quite weak. Um, you know, confusion from this internationally recognised government. Why isn't more help being given? You know, when, when we are talking about what is internationally recognized in Libya, we always talk about the, nation, uh, the government of national accord, but you have also a parliament which is recognized by the international community after the elections four years ago, and the army is under the umbrella of this parliament. And this parliament is really backing the Libyan national army and even the attack on Tripoli. So the government of uh, national accord was installed uh, after the uh, political agreement under the umbrella of the United Nations, but no one really agreed with that inside Libya. And they decided to install this um, government in Tripoli with the help of a patchwork of militia. This patchwork of militia is the real ruler of Tripoli. And this is the real problem now, because uh, the institutions are not working correctly, because there is huge corruption, because even when the government and Faya Sarraj try to do something, try to deal about an accord, it's uh, not recognized or not applied by some of this militia. So it is uh, really a big problem, which uh, in fact uh, was the reason why there was, there was no real dialogue and not real accord between both sides.